revered Mike Tyson. You know he's had a huge embrace for mixed martial arts. I didn't think we'd see him compete in this setting. Hope he's been working on his takedown defense. Yeah, he's gonna need it. Iron Mike's gonna need to be able to stay upright if he wants to give himself a chance. But if he's on his feet every second of the fight, Mike Tyson has the ability to knock you out. Imagine a guy that can put you out with 10 ounce gloves, landing with four ounce gloves in the UFC octagon. Mike is fast, Mike has great setups, and Mike has a meanness about him that not many others have. You better be careful fighting Iron Mike Tyson. He is ferocious, and seemingly the speed and power are still there at his advanced age. Mike Tyson trying to make headway here in the UFC tonight. has graced the octagon, he is ready to go. My 2023 Fighter of the Year and the undisputed UFC Flyweight Champion, Alessandre Pantoja. Pro debut at 17 years of age in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Finally breaks through to win the undisputed UFC title at 33 years of age. He is as watchable and as well-rounded as any fighter in the sport. And in advance of his first title defense in our fighter meeting, he said, now the focus is getting my pound-for-pound pound due. I know I'm the best flyweight in the world. I'm out to prove that again tonight. But I want to show the masses that I can be the pound-for-pound pound king, and he might just be that guy. All right, both fighters have graced the octagon, and that means we are ready to go with live action from the Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto, where some of the best fans in all of MMA have come out to see our fights here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Mike Tyson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Alejandre the Cannibal Pantoja! Ready. All right, early round action here featuring the American top team train flyweight contender Alessandre Pantoja. Injuries limited him to just one appearance in 2020, but now he is back in a more regular competing cycle, and the results really speak for themselves. This man poses danger everywhere. The danger factor particularly high on the ground when it comes to his submission game, but if you sleep on him on the feet, he'll put you to sleep. Just ask Matt Schnell. All right, so as you expected, takedowns would come in bunches. He gets one there and not much resistance from his boxing opponent. You can either change ground and pound or you can go to submission. Right now, it looks like he's trying to get to an arm triangle. He needs to push the left arm across and secure it with his head. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Tyson. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the shot. Oh, the triangle is in. And not only does he have the triangle, if his opponent circles the wrong way, he can even attack an arm bar. This is a very big advantage position for this fight. Oh, 
favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Under three minutes now to go on the round. This is a terrible position. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Pantoja's back in full mount, making all these shots count. Oh, nice elbow. Two minutes to go in round one. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Pantoja. He's using a lot of good movement. Having his way with him here. He's got to be careful here. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Pantoja. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. He's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Pantoja. He's got to be careful here. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. seconds now to go in round one. Throwing that jab, no good. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, now going to the body with that hook. Nicely done there by Tyson. Final seconds here. The bodies hit the floor. <laughs> what a round. Multiple knockdowns. Amazing to think he didn't get him out of there, but he came pretty damn close. Oh, definitely let the bodies hit the floor. And it was one guy's body hit the floor over and over and over again. So he showed tremendous toughness. But for his opponent, he has to be seeing stars in his eyes because he understands with this type of performance, he puts Dana White on notice. He puts Sean Shelby on notice. He puts the fans on notice. Everybody's excited about him because they know we have an exciting knockout finisher right in the midst of our presence. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. Oh, nice jab there by Tyson. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy. It's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Goes in and secures the takedown. Pantoja's in half guard now. All right to the mount. Nice positional control here. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to his opponent's neck to try to choke him up and finish his fight. 
That was a slick transition. Back to his feet. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Wind it up on the right there to know about. Landed that left hook. Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts by beating him on the end. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Durs. Oh, he's got that submission locked in. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Before, oh, not at all where he wants to be now as he gets flattened on his back. He's the bone here. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Pantoja. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, big elbow. You can't take all those unanswered strikes, you know? Looking for the submission once again. He's fighting. He wants this very bad. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Pantoja. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Pantoja's back in full now. This is where it wants to be. A hard ground and pound strike there. I believe that one opened him up. Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, that's getting deep. That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Pantosha. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been... Watch on bar here. What a tight arm bar. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You gotta keep position over submission. Round three next. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut <laughs> on his cheek. You're I'm just fight. saying. He's got a big Ready. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Third round underway. And that one certainly found the target. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Nice combination. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes. Now 
his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the water. Blood in the water, you gotta go get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Oh, that's good. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Pantoja's is going for an arm here. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus is to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Pantosha. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Beautiful transition. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound, Mark Coleman, as he lands again. Coleman's somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Oh, he might have that submission locked in. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Ref will help here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mountain, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Pantoja's right back to the full mount here. He's going after that cut over and over again, and every time he lands, the cut gets worse. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, that looks tight. Oh, wow, oh! He's work. I'll stand it up. He's work. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards the corner, then back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And Beautiful. you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast table. Did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> well, at this point, I would use the word critical to describe the condition of that eye not looking good, champ. No, he's beat up. He's been battered. He's been bruised. He got cut early in the fight, and you understood that if he didn't change something, it would get much worse. He didn't change anything, and now we're here. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Watch the armbar, but watch the armbar here. He's got it isolated. Look at that. He's in trouble. It's over. It's over. And there's the take. Holy smokes. You're winner by submission. Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the Octagon. All right, we now go inside the Octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 43 seconds of round.